Hi friends, uh, in today's current affairs lecture, I am going to discuss a defense modernization fund. So, what is this defense modernization fund and why you need a defense, a modernization fund for the defense? Is it only for the defense? Generally, it is not only for defense, but it is for defense and internal security. So, I will come to this why you need this. Actually, the issue is this was recently recommended by the 15th Finance Commission recently reported uh, recently tabled in the parliament and in that they have clearly mentioned about this defense and internal security modernization fund. Actually, uh, under the terms of reference to the 15th Finance Commission, government of India has given a one reference like to create a modernization fund for the from the funds why actually government of india asked for this is now if you take the case of the resources of the entire country union see this is a union government any state government have their own resources when union government is collecting the resources some part of their resources has to be shared with the states and remaining part lies with the union and the union wanted like you are the one that means the finance commission you are the one uh, who are devolving this revenues to the state government and if you devolve the higher level of money then it is very difficult for us to maintain the military and internal security which is very very important and you yourself create a fund and after creating the fund you devolve the money so that uh, we can we can spend some specific amount or dedicated amount for the defense and internal security so that because defense and internal security is a necessity for both union and state though it is a uh, though the military is a union subject or defense is a union subject it is for both the people so now the union government has given a terms of reference like you must create a dedicated defense and internal security fund and after that you devolve so that is what uh, actually they haven't given this entire thing but they asked the finance commission to create a dedicated defense and internal security modernization fund so on the terms of reference the 15th finance commission has recommended for that but why it has recommended because there is a history to this because we need to understand uh, why actually you need a dedicated fund like this the thing is and that too this is a non-lapsable fund what is the meaning of non-lapsable fund because suppose in any budget allocation is only annual basis that means suppose if 1000 crores are allocated for a project for april 1 2021 to march 31st 2022 this is the date in which you have to spend this 1000 if you don't spend after if you, if you don't spend up to March 31st, 2022, then you don't get this 1000 crore availability after the next day. That means April 1, 2022. You cannot because it's annual base. It will be lapsed on that last day itself. But non-lapsable means even if you don't spend in this financial year, that will be available for the utilization of the next financial year. That is what the meaning of non-lapsable fund. And why it is a non-lapsable fund? Uh, why actually they have brought this because when it comes to the defense and internal security you need to purchase or you need to procure the different type of armaments or different type of machinery arms or machinery or technology or something so this is a capital expenditure capex but what happened is this procurement of defense equipment or internal security equipment is not that easy. Suppose in this financial year they have allocated 5000 crore just assume I am giving an example. And when this 5000 crores are allocated with this 5000 crores you cannot purchase or procure immediately because this procurement process of defense equipment will take some time okay you need to first invite the technical bids you need to check that entire thing and it has to be placed and uh, no uh, financial bids and everything so it will take some time but this is a lapsable fund because it is part of budget when the money is available you are not ready with your procurement process 
but by the time of procurement process is ready you don't have enough amount of budget that is the problem when the budget is ready you are not ready with the procurement by the time of procurement is ready you are not having enough amount of revenues enough amount of resources so this has created a problem for the upgradation or the, the, the uh, improvement of the defense and internal security so that is the reason why government thought and even finance commission has also recommended we need to have a dedicated non-lapsable fund for the modernization of both defense and internal security that is what the fund created uh, that is what the, the recommendation given by the finance commission to constitute that fund okay i think uh, you are clear on this front why you need that now when it comes to the fund it is the union government will constitute the fund first one it is constitute under public account of india because india is having three accounts consolidated fund of india contingency fund of india and public account of india why they have created under public account because once it is under public account then you no need a legislative approval to draw that money you can utilize whenever uh, whenever you are you wanted to do okay and here this will be used for both defense and internal security again you have to be very clear when i say defense and internal security it is armed forces armed forces and the central uh, central uh, the paramilitary forces okay central paramilitary forces like bsf uh, cisf like these forces and also some of the funds will go to state government also because state governments are also responsible for maintaining internal security okay so central armed police forces capf armed forces <coughs> central uh, the paramilitary forces and also state governments these three things will utilize the fund out of this created fund okay because this deals with the defense and these three things these two will uh, deals with the internal security okay and now the point is the name that they have given by the finance commission is rashtriya suraksha naivedyam kosh r s e n k rashtriya suraksha naivedyam kosh this is the name given by the finance commission and government can change that name it is up to them but for what purpose you need to use this money you need to utilize for the capital investment not for revenue thing capital investment means to purchase any arms or to create any installation or to lay the defense roads or something defense related infrastructure so for the capital investment you must use it second one is capital investment for this is capital investment for army and second one is capital investment for central armed police forces and modernization of the state police and also for the welfare of the soldiers see you can see here capital investment for modernization of defense services capital investment for capf and small component of welfare for the soldiers and paramilitary personnel and the fund shall have the standard notified rules for its administration public reporting and audited by c and ag comptroller and auditor general will go for audit okay now the next point is how you will get the resources this is very important see the resources is actually when the government has given this terms of reference actually there was an apprehension what is that apprehension the apprehension is if you create a separate fund then the states may lose their share that is what the apprehension because the from the entire pool itself you are creating some amount of money uh, you are creating a pool and you are keeping some money aside of uh, keep aside of this entire pool then definitely for the states it will be reduced that is what the apprehension but what the finance commission has done is in the entire divisible pool in the entire revenue first of all you have to decide the divisible pool that means you cannot share the entire revenue suppose if this is entire revenue this is only divisible pool you are not supposed to share this money to the states you are only supposed to share this much of amount of money this is called divisible pool under divisible pool okay you will give it this to states and this is with the center so this is what you need to understand now what they done is finance commission before they decide the divisible pool itself they have kept some money for the 
uh, this defense and internal security modernization fund so it is not going to affect because your divisible pool is fixed we are not donating it we are not giving it from the divisible pool when before deciding the divisible pool itself we have kept some money for the defense purposes and divisible pool is kept constant so state don't get any problem so now the first point is the transfer from the consolidated fund of india some of the money will be uh, transferred from consolidated fund through the parliamentary approval to this fund second one is disinvestment proceeds of defense public sector enterprises that means now if you disinvest any defense related public sector enterprise then don't deposit that money with consolidated fund and try to deposit that money with the defense modernization fund so that means you have to utilize that money next proceeds from the monetization of surplus defense land including the realization of areas of payment for defense land used by the state government and for public projects and cost recovered for encroached land see the defense is sitting on huge amount of lands and whenever you are monetizing this land for the commercial purposes or whenever you are giving this land for the state government for any purposes or if someone has encroached that land and you have collected fine or something penalty from them this amount of money that you are accruing out of this monetization of the defense lands should again go to the defense modernization fund next proceeds of receipts from defense land likely to be transferred to state government for the pub for the public project in future suppose if defense transferred any defense land for the state government for the future public use that money has to be transferred to the uh, defense modernization fund and the total indicative size of the proposed fund is for 2021-26 is 2,38,350 crore this is the fund they have said but again they said one more thing the maximum size of the recommended fund is 51,000 crore per annum that means per year you need to add only maximum of 51,000 crore to that fund you are not supposed to deposit some lakhs and lakhs of crores of money with that fund the maximum amount is 51,000 crore per annum suppose if anything is exceeded this suppose you have disinvested and with the disinvestment you got 70,000 crore but with the transfer of consolidated fund and from the payment already you got 20,000 that means now you are having this 20,000 plus that 70,000 total 90,000 only 51,000 deposit in that front uh, deposit in that fund and remaining whatever the fund is you just 40,000 you just transfer it to the consolidated fund of India this fund is operated the point number 91 the fund may be operated by a suitably empowered high powered committee notified by the union government but this may be this is something uh, recommendation of the finance commission it is headed by the cabinet secretary and consisting of secretary of defense home and expenditure why defense because it is defense modernization fund why home because it is an internal security thing why an expenditure secretary because expenditure secretary it deals with the expenditure of the government's money and also uh, the chief of defense staff because chief of defense staff uh, have a clear cut idea about this uh, the, the the three armed forces so these people will include in this okay one more important point of this fund is the ministry of defense would have an exclusive right over this fund but ministry of home affairs will only be permitted will only permitted to use the fund that is earmarked for it because we are earmarking some funds for both defense and home to utilize these funds home of home ministry will have its role but apart from that who will maintain this entire fund and who is having exclusive right it is the ministry of defense but apart from that the finance commission is also recommended like you are having the finance finances crunch so why we are having this finances crunch uh, because governments are not providing appropriately ah, okay that might be the reason but at the same time your expenditure is really so qualitative that is the another question we are proposing a fund and we are giving the resources to that fund how you need to fill that fund but at the same time they have given a recommendation like you need to reduce the dependence on imports 
the entire defense forces not only army dependence of imports must be reduced you must do indigenous production so that you can reduce your expenditure because if you are procuring it from the foreign country it's all include the forex and other related uh, issues and the exchange value so sometimes you may spend more and more amount of money because of just this price fluctuation and also currency fluctuations so that is where reduce depends on imports and second one is bring down the cost of salaries and pension liabilities you need to you need to reduce it and whatever the unnecessary things the defense ministry is now taking you just shed away that so don't tie with all unnecessary activities whatever the necessary things do that do perfectly and reduce uh, your salary and pension burden and also reduce your imports and try to manufacture indigenously so these two suggestions given by the uh, finance commission and apart from that this is about the fund created and what is the necessity of the fund and where we have created for what purpose you will use it and what are the resources to fill that fund and who will manage that fund and what are the suggestions uh, for the ministry of defense so these are the things given by the finance uh, commission this is very important very important because this was specifically mentioned in the uh, uh, finance commission so you may get a question mostly you will get a mains question on this okay just try to have an idea of this the modernization of military and internal security fund and when it comes to the states it is the union home ministry will in turn transfer the funds to the state government for the modernization of the state police okay so that is about this fund okay thank you